Good morning, guys. Thank you to everyone who joined us for our whole group circle time this morning. I hope you enjoyed working with Mr. Mixup. <laughs> okay, you ready to sing hello? On the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, cha cha cha. Hello, cha cha cha. Hello, and how are you? Cha cha cha. I'm fine, cha cha cha. I'm fine, cha cha cha. And I hope that you are too, cha cha cha. Okay, guys, let's start with our calendar. Okay, so who remembers the name of our month? It starts with the letter A. What month is it? Good, it's April. Can we say April, April, good. We're in the month of April, we're in the month of April. Clap your hands, clap your hands. We're in the month of April, we're in the month of April. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Good. If you guys look over there in the background, we you can see Terry playing Dusty. <laughs> okay, let's count how many days we have so far in April. Ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What number comes after fourteen? Good, it's 15. One of our numbers of the month. Today's 15. Can we say 15? 15. Good, today is April 15th. And what year is it again, guys? It is 2020. Can we say that together? Ready? 2020. Very good. Okay, so let's figure out what day of the week it is. So yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Now let's figure out what today is. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What? What day comes after Tuesday? Good, it's Wednesday. Can we say Wednesday? Wednesday. Good, so tomorrow will be, I mean, oh my goodness, today is Wednesday. That's why we had our whole group today. Now let's figure out what tomorrow will be. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What, what day comes after Wednesday? Good, it's Thursday. Could we say Thursday? Thursday. Good, so tomorrow will be Thursday. Very good. Now let's go over our letter of the week. What is the name of this letter? Good, it's the letter N. And what sound does N make, guys? Good, we're going to talk to back with teeth and say, mmm. Can we say, mmm, mmm, like mm, nose, mm, nose. Very good. So, our word family for the week is the E-N word family. So, remember, E-N on its own is not a word. It makes sound of other families, but we can use it to make words. Okay. What sound does the letter T make? What sound does T make? T says ta, ta, right? Ta, ta. Now, I'm going to add N to that. So, I have ta, N. And, and what word do we hear? It's ten. Oh, we have ten fingers. Can we say ten? Ten. Very good. Now I'm gonna add a P to it. What sound does P make? P says pa pa. Can we say pa pa? Now I'm gonna add N. So we have pa and pa and what word is that? Good, it's pen. I think we write with a pen. Very good. 
in our last one we learned this week. Next week we're going to learn more, but we'll just keep it simple for now. What sound does H make? H says H, H right? Now we're going to add N to that. So we have H, N, H, N, H, N. What word do you guys hear? Good, it's hen. Remember, hen's like a girl, chicken. So can you guys repeat after me? We have N, N, 10, 10, hen, pen, hen, hen. Very good. And we'll do our sight word. So we're going to do last week's sight word first. And then we'll do this week's. Because they do have a little bit to do with each other. So last week's sight word was H-E-R-E, -E, which was here. Okay? Like we are here at circle. But to make it this week's sight word, we're just going to add a T. And it still has to do with places. Okay, does anyone remember what T-H-E-R-E -E spells? Good, it's there, okay? Like Kit Kat and Reese's are over there, okay? It's like a place we can point to, over there. The lamp is over there, okay? Could we say there? Very good. Can you guys come up with a sentence for there? Okay, let's go over the numbers we've been learning. So what number is a one and a one? What number is this, guys? Good, it's 11. Can we say 11, 11? Good, I'm gonna change this to a zero. What number is a one and a zero? Good, it's 10. Can we say 10, 10? Good. I'm going to change this to a two. Ooh, sorry for that squeak. What number is a one and a two, guys? It's 12. Can we say 12? 12. Good. What number is a one and a three? What number is a one and a three? It's 13. Can we say 13? 13. I'm going to change this to a <coughs> 4. What number is a 1 and a 4? This would be 14, right? Can we say 14, 14? Okay, now our numbers of the month. Our first one is a 1 and a 5. What number is a 1 and a 5? This would be 15. Could we say 15, 15? Good, and I'm gonna make this a one and a six. What number would be a one and a six? This is 16, right? Could we say 16, 16? One more time, 15, 15, 16, 16. Very good. Okay, now let's go over our stuff to the couch. The Velcro's on the back. What is the name of this shape, guys? Good, this is an oval. Can we say oval? Oval, right? And what kind of sides does an oval have? Good, it has curved sides. Can we say curved sides? Curved sides. And our oval is like a shape of an A. So what is the name of our color of the month? What color is this? Good, it's yellow. Can we say yellow? Yellow. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab our carrot plant so we can check up on it today because I think you guys will see something pretty cool. So let me just go grab it. So actually overnight, our carrot plant grew quite a bit. You guys can see the green part here. The shoots are more visible. They're easier to see and they're growing a little bit taller than they have the last couple of days. So where the shoot is the part our baby little plant that's coming out of the ground, right? Our stem and our leaves are just starting to form. And if you look, it's a little tricky to see because it's hard to see on camera, but our roots, right? Our little white stringy things down here. Um, can't really see it so well on that side, but are growing down into the ground, okay? So they could suck up some of the water. 
Okay, so see here are our roots growing down, down, down. And you can see the leaves are just starting to form, okay? I'm sure when we look back on Monday, they'll be even easier to see. So I'm going to give our plants some water. And stick it back in the window. So hopefully it'll keep growing. Let me get a little more on that side. It's totally missed. Okay. Okay, so our plant is safely back. So when we check up on Monday, I'm sure we'll be able to see the leaves a little bit better. Okay, so speaking of plants, let's go over the parts of the plant. Because next week we're going to learn some new stuff about plants. But let's first make sure we already know the stuff we've learned. <clears throat> so what part of the plant is this? The plant, part of the plant that holds the seeds. What part is this? Good, it's our flower. So we say flower, flower, good. And our next part is the long skinny part that holds our plant up straight. Not only does it hold the plant up straight, but it also works like a giant straw, right? And the water travels up through the plant. What part of the plant is this? Good, this is our stem. Now on our stem, we have these guys. What are these? Good, these are our leaves. And our leaves help to gather the sunlight and they really have little holes on them so the carbon dioxide can go in and it helps our plant to make its food. And remember, the plant takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen. We breathe in the oxygen, so without plants, we wouldn't be able to breathe. So plants are very important. Now under the soil, like on our plant, we just looked at this. What part of the plant is underground? Good, we have our roots. Some of our roots work like our plant's feet. They hold it in place. And they also suck the water up from the soil so it can travel throughout the plant. So let's sing our parts of a plant song, ready? We have leaves, flower, stem, and roots, stem, and roots. Leaves, flower, stem, and roots, stem, and roots. Some plants even grow big fruits. Leaves, flower, stem, and roots, stem, and roots. Very good. Okay, so we're going to read another book about plants. I did put this as one of our YouTube read-alouds last week, but I really like this book, so I wanted to read it to you. It's got a nice little poem. This book is called Lola Plants a Garden. So just like we planted our carrot plant, Lola is going to plant her own garden. And this book is actually based off of a little nursery rhyme that I'm going to read to you. You guys might have heard it before. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. So you guys might have heard that rhyme before. And that's what our book is based off of. It's also unfortunately falling apart, guys. Sorry, this book's kind of old. It's been read a lot. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is the one about Mary, Mary. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there is room near the vegetables. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. She chooses her favorite flowers from the book and Mommy makes a list. So I wonder what type of flowers Lola is going to grow. They go to the garden store to buy seeds. So Lola's buying seeds from the store, just like when we planted our carrot seeds. She has her own seeds. Lola and Mommy make the garden. The seed packets mark where the flowers are planted. So she saved that little package and put it on a stick so she knew where her flowers are growing. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. So let's think about our carrot plant. Did it grow overnight? No, right? It's taken a couple of days even to get to where it is now and it's still tiny. So Lola's gonna have to wait a while for her flowers to grow. But if you look, Lola did the same thing we did, right? She has our soil, her soil. 
and she stuck her finger in, right? And she planted her seeds. Lola makes her own flower book while she waits. Mommy types the Mary Mary poem and Lola, Lola glues it in. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds some shells and some old beads. She even made a little Mary Mary. How cute, right? Let's see what she does with all this stuff. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. So just like we have our tiny shoots poking out of the soil, Lola has her shoots too. She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. So what weeds are basically is they're plants that are growing where they shouldn't be, okay? And unfortunately, they take all the nutrients from the soil away from the plants we want to grow. So that's why we pull them out. So that way they don't take away the nutrients from the plants we do want to grow, like the flowers. Lola's flowers grow bigger and open up to the sun. Wow, look, this flower is even taller than Lola. These are beautiful flowers she grew. Daddy helps Lola hang shiny bells. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. <laughs> Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. So Lola and Mommy make cupcakes. Lola wears her flower shirt, and Mommy helps Lola with her hair. Look, she even put little flowers in. She's all ready for her friends to come see her garden. Lola's friends loved everything about her garden. They share the crunchy peas and the sweet, sweet strawberries that Mommy grew. So her mother grew some fruits and vegetables for them to eat. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. What kind of garden will Lola plant next? So now Lola wrote her own poem. Lola, Lola, extraordinary. How does your garden grow? With flowers, seeds, and shells, and beads, and happy friends all in a row. The end. So that is it for our week about parts of a plant. Next week, we're going to talk about how we can take care of plants. Although I think you guys know a little bit about this already. So we're going to talk about how we can take care of plants and also their life cycle. So we talked about life cycle a couple of times before. Remember, life cycle is the order in which something grows, okay? And like our water cycle, our cycles go around and around and they don't stop, okay? So that is what we're going to be doing next week. And also in math, we're going to be doing some more counting. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week. And I will see you next week as we don't have circle time tomorrow and Friday. Because this week was actually supposed to be our, our vacation week. But since we were out of school, I wanted you guys to still learn something. So we'll take a little break for the next two days. And I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.